Would you like to make floral patterns, but the drawing the flowers part is a bit of a mystery? And have you ever asked yourself how to draw a digital flower quickly? Do you wish that you knew how to draw a rose or how to draw a peony easily? Well, if so, you've come to the right tutorial. Along with the free brushes, color palette, and PDF tip sheets, this tutorial is all about drawing digital flowers. To get started, you'll need Procreate. I recommend the most recent version along with the most recent version of your iOS. You'll also need the Flower Power palette and brush set from my site, which you can download at bit.ly forward slash from Liz. In addition, you're going to need the Apple stylus or a comparable stylus so you could take full advantage of the pressure settings of our brushes. Three things before we start. My canvas size is 3600 pixels wide by 4800 pixels tall. Basically, it is a 16 inch by 12 inch at 300 dpi. Next, I'd love to see your art. So if you would like to share it, please do so on Instagram at poundside digi with Liz. And that way I can see what you're creating. Also, I wanted to let you know about Joyful Flora, a brush pack I sell with even more flower power. And here's the link for that. With this tutorial, I'm going to just jump right in and start drawing the flowers. But I did want to let you know, um, sort of remind you about these PDF tip sheets, but also let you know um, that there is a demo, a, a video demo of how the brushes work. And I will link that in the description below. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, we're going to start out with our brush set and we're going to select that rose brush set and we're going to bring it up to somewhere around 80% or so. And then in the color palette, we're going to choose that sort of carnation pink. And the first thing I like to do is sort of draw like a little bud, so kind of a downward stroke and a downward stroke. And then I start filling around my rose with these wider, like less, there's sort of a slow but less pressure um, petal that I have going on here. And the cool thing about this brush is where it overlays, there's a, a blend mode of add, so you get this nice little white um, sort of looking a petal like like it's rolling over but if you press hard it it brings the it uh, brings in the darker color so you can keep sort of alternating this as you're making your rose but the thing is we don't want this to be too perfect so we also want to uh, you know add some like softer uh like sort of rolling edges to our flower and kind of try to keep it symmetrical and uh, it's not completely a circle but it's you know it's got that shape but then we can just keep adding sort of petals until we get the look that we like then we're going to switch over to this uh, sort of green color here on the palette and go to our stem brush and I'm dialing it way down to about three percent and I can draw my stem and then I dial it back up and I press harder for you know, give it pressure to give a, a nice leaf and then I come back I'm not picking up my brush but a lighter touch and that blends it in it pulls the color and gives it sort of a lighter color and and then I can just use my move and transform tool and pop that little rose up into the corner. All right, now we're going over to our palette and selecting this lighter pink color, going back to our brushes, and we're going to adjust our stem brush up to about 40%. And then we're just going to draw little ovals over the top of each other to give the impression that our flower petals are, um, you know, dark in the center there. Um, there's a nice multiply blend mode on this brush. Then we're going to go over to our eraser brush and we're going to select the centers and lavender brush and we're going to dial that down to, I don't know, somewhere around 12% it looks like. And yeah, just kind of erase the center and then select magenta and we're going to select that brush again and this time set it to, you know, also again about 11. And then we can put in our color here, our magenta and like some yellow to kind of give it a, the realistic look of a cherry blossom. All right, heading back over to palette, let's select purple and going back to our stem brush, we're going to dial this one up to 50% this time. And we're just sort of, you know, creating an eight petal flower, like a clematis. And we're not making it very perfectly round or anything like that, but we are making it look like the petals on the bottom are sort of coming out to us. Next, we're going over to our lavender and centers brush again. And with it still set to a low uh, setting, we are just drawing in the centers of these petals to give them sort of a different look. Um, it kind of gives it sort of a watercolory texture look. And then we're going back to our eraser and we're erasing that center. Then we're going back to our palette. And we're set this brown color and we're gonna uh, put some brown centers in, in the center there. And I don't like it to just be one color. So we're gonna use a little bit of this gold color and then we're coming back and we're gonna use this yellow color so that it gives it more dimension, some, some darkness and light. Okay, we're going over to our selection tool. We want to have freehand selected and want to make sure that um, fill is not selected. And then we can tap our transform tool after we've selected our shapes and we can change the size and move them up to the top of the page. 
Um, okay, let's go back over to our palette and we're going to select the, let's see, this nice green color here and going back to our stems and we're kind of drawing that down to, I don't know, about say 6%, uh, 3 to 6. I don't know. I, I, I go in there usually for stems. And we're just going to draw some random stems here. Uh, and we're drawing these stems before our buds just to kind of show you two different approaches here. Um, and now let's go ahead and select this carnation pink again. And this time let's select our peony brush, not the stem brush. Um, this has a sort of a different look to it. It, it pulls uh, the color a little bit more and feels more like a watercolor brush, which I really like because it's sort of random and it's a little harder to control, but that kind of is lovely in a way. <laughs> um, you get a lot of happy accidents and some intentional. Um, anyway, I, I like to sort of create a a little oval first and then kind of draw down and create a bud. Here's an oval and I'm now putting, I'm drawing upwards to create different petals. And let's add a couple more here. All right, and just keep going as you like. And actually let's uh, make those a little bigger and let's go over and add a little petal to that other one. I kind of, kind of want to do that. I don't know, make it look a little bit more uh, irregular. Yep, okay. Now again, starting with my oval and coming down and pressing to make more of a bud, but let's add a little bit more darker colors here just by, you know, adding some dimension there with more, more markings on the canvas there. Okay, now let's, let's do a different sort of flower opening and we're starting with little circular shapes instead of uh, these more pointed shapes. This could be a different kind of flower and even the little petals around it being a little bit more round. So there's a lot of versatility in this brush. And just for another um, example of sort of a bud in, in place, just, oh, actually, no, let's go ahead. And, let's make this soft and um, do a couple different you know, petals that are just not so regular, but look sort of like they're almost open and hanging there. That looks pretty great. Okay, so now let's go back to our, um, this is a different brush for drawing flowers. It's the stem brush and we're bringing up the size just a little bit. And we're not gonna draw stems right away. We are gonna go ahead and draw a couple of flowers. Oh, and let's not do pink. Let's go ahead and go over to our palette and change them to purple just so you can see the difference here. So this brush is very different. It's the one that we use for drawing our clematis and our cherry. And there's a little bit more control and I kind of like that, um, but I really do like the peony more. So like, again, here's drawing that same flower with the peony brush and it's a little less uh, controllable, but it's it makes such nice little sort of watercolor looking flower shapes. And one thing I try to keep in mind, and I'm mentioning it here, when I am drawing flowers, I try to make the flowers look slightly different. Um, and if I'm really trying to make them look like a particular type of flower, you know, I concentrate on how many petals I want. And I try to give them sort of different shapes, like they would look if they were opening up at different stages of the flower and whatnot. Okay, now that we have our flowers, let's go ahead and we're switching over to sort of a brownish color and we're using our centers again. And we're gonna add a couple little uh, stamens to our flowers in the centers where it makes sense. And I just like that. <laughs> That's really cute. Oh my gosh. Oops. <laughs> All right. And now let's go back and um, choose a green color and go back to our stems. And we're going to dial that down quite a bit. And let's go ahead and add stems to these flowers. We're giving a different stem than the, the other one because they're different colors. <laughs> All right. And then, um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and dial that up and let's add some leaves just to give it, um, I don't know, sort of more feel to it. I want to give them sort of sort of wild leaves here. Do whatever you like, obviously, and have some leaves going away from the flower as well as going into the flower. And I don't know, just have fun with it. That's the whole point. And really, it's it's really, I, I know I've been saying this in a couple of the other videos too, but it's not really about perfection. It's about impression and kind of, I want to create sort of this wild bouquet look here with these, uh, with, with the leaves. And that really helps add to the impression of that. So, um, you know, uh, I don't know, just, I say have fun, really have fun and, and embrace the fun here, embrace the imperfect here and just, just go for it. And, uh, you know, don't forget the littles and the bigs together. <laughs> they make a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. I like this. All right. So let's go ahead and, um, you know, uh, I guess add a couple more leaves, but then we're going to go back up and, uh, and okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Let's go back up now to our selection tool 
and you know, like I said, freehand around the flower, then select transform, uh, change the size as desired, and you can just move it on your canvas. This is all in one layer, and I just kind of wanted to show you that you could do this. All right, and it's convenient for making this tutorial too. Okay, back to our palette. Now let's go ahead and choose this nice orange color, and we're going back, uh, just for a demonstration, we're gonna go back to our peony uh, brush, and, uh, and just kind of, I wanted to show you how as you scrub, it kind of softens up the color. And so if you're making a poppy, you know, you want to kind of start with sort of a triangular color, but then you can like dial that brush up and kind of push into it. And I just love that. And poppies, the, the general will have like, a, a, you know, multiples of four or just four. Uh, petals and oh, I just I just love how this brush works because like I say it's a little bit unpredictable and it can make for some really cool uh, flowers and these poppies they are kind of one of my favorites okay going back to green and our stems we're gonna bring that down a ways and then these we're just gonna go ahead and have a cup two stems but then connect one of them to the other because that's again that's kind of how our flowers work so then freehand this and use the transform tool, shrink it down, move it around. There we go. Okay, once we're done uh, moving that flower around, we are going to work on our Cosmos. So we're coming back over to our stem brush and we're dialing that all the way up. And then we're gonna go over to our palette and select that lighter pink color again. And this time we're gonna press down and make giant petals. Um, I love this, not too perfect, but you know, just kind of give it a nice shape. And we're going for um, eight petals here. Once we have that, we're going over to our layers and we're gonna tap the layer, get the menu and tap alpha lock. And then we're gonna go back to our stem brush and we're gonna dial this all the way down to about 6% again, uh, kind of the same you know, size that we used for our stems. And now we're creating stripes along the petals. And we're using the petal shape to kind of guide us as we put our stripes in there. The reason I have alpha lock is I just wanted to go very quickly, like have my stripe go really quickly um, and follow that shape without having to worry about it, you know, uh, going over the petals and drawing on the layer in any other way. So this works out really well, this technique. <laughs> I really like this, this is fun. And just, you know, like I said, just keep sort of following the shape of the petal to kind of really accentuate that petal shape. All right, once we have that, we're gonna go um, over to our selection tool again, and we're going to uh, select around that, and then we're gonna go over to our adjustments and tap that and select hue saturation. And we're gonna dial up the brightness just a little bit, just up to, well, I think about, you know, 52, so 2% up, just to make it a little bit lighter. And then once we're done with that, we can go back to our layer and we're gonna put a layer above and tap it and select clipping mask. And so now we want that magenta color and we're gonna select our centers and we're bringing the size up just a little bit and we're gonna go along the, the, the edges. Actually, let's bring it up a little bit. So 27-ish. We're gonna go along the edges of our Cosmos petals. And then, well, let's just go ahead and do this. I like how irregular and that's totally fine. Like embrace that irregularness there. Okay, and then go into the center just like that. All right, and now, we're gonna go over to our uh, adjustments and select a Gaussian blur. And we're gonna dial up the blur just a bit. Uh, you know, you kind of just judge it. You don't want it to be too little. You don't want it to be too much. And this is looking pretty good. So I don't know, somewhere around 12%, I don't know, 15%, 15%, let's go with that. All right, and once we are satisfied, we can tap that layer and, and then tap merge down. And now we can go over and uh, undo our alpha lock and this is looking pretty good so going back to our brushes and our centers i'm going to bring the center size down just a little bit to about oh i say maybe about 14 percent and we still have our magenta we just want to do one ring of magenta then go to yellow and put in some yellow uh centers there that's pretty fun and then you know kind of that gold color again just to give some dimension i really am all about the dimension <laughs> and we're going to go to green and add just a little green on the bottom just to kind of give it more of a shadow because these have pretty good sized centers they stand up pretty good and then back to the gold and just kind of mix it around until you're satisfied and uh, once you are go back to magenta and add just a light touch circle around your first circle that you made and if you feel necessary go ahead and go inside the the stamen too. Okay, so now we're going to select that, uh, not the lightest, actually about middle color green there, and then our stems, we're going to dial those down again and just create a nice little stem coming off 
of our flower there. And this has interesting leaves. They're kind of like these little split leaves. Um, and so that's how you create a cosmos and or, or cosmo cosmos <laughs> any a cosmo flower there we go i'm having trouble talking all right so let's go ahead and do our selection and our transform and just get that flower up to the uh, uh, near the other flowers and we're going to select that darker pink color on our peony brush now and we have the uh, peony brush all the way up and we're just kind of making little c shapes and backwards c shapes right now to kind of form the ball sort of shape of our peony now let's go from the bottom up to create petals and we're just really accentuating that that shape and the way this brush works like i said it's a little bit unpredictable so you can always undo what you don't like and just kind of keep drawing around that sort of ball shape though to really give the peony the look you need and the way this brush mixes is really really fun and you can just keep drawing up and down but you'll get different colors because there's a little bit of a hue uh, jitter and stuff and and then just when you're you know you can add a little leaf coming off of the whole ball just so it looks like you know more realistic and then once you're satisfied with that uh, we're going to go back to the stem brush and uh just go ahead and draw a nice little stem there. Oops, forgot to change the color. <laughs> All right, let's choose this sort of a, a bluish greenish color and draw a nice little stem. And then um, kind of like with a rose, um, I need to bring this up a little bit. Uh, we're going to push and then kind of gently draw back so it pulls the color just a bit and do it again at, along that edge. And I, yeah, make a little petal coming off. You can make a little petal coming out of the corner there. I don't know, it looks really pretty cute that way. And once you're satisfied with that, you know, you know what we're gonna do. Selection, <laughs> move and transform. We're gonna move this out of the way so we can move on to our next flower. All right, moving on to our next flower, we're gonna come over to our colors here and select that sort of darker bluish green color. And we're dialing down our stems anywhere between three and 1%. Actually, I'm gonna adjust it again. Yeah, even more. Yep, all the way down to one. Okay, and then just draw sort of stems and sort of this V shape down. And then when you get to a certain point, you can just sort of draw the stems uh, sort of straight at the bottom. And then we're going to select this blue purple color and our centers in lavender. And then we're going to bring this up to about 20%. And we're going to go with a sort of a lighter touch. And we're adding in our lavender sort of along the stems that we created. We can bring down the size a little bit and press a little harder. And um, just, you know, I'd say go with different sizes and different um, pressure applications um, to kind of give it a realistic look. All right, and then we're gonna go into that gold color and come over to our stems and dial that up a little bit. And we're gonna make a nice little uh, sort of two loops and, you know, two little strings because we're creating, well, you know, the look of having this lavender all nice and wrapped up, sort of like what you're seeing over here on the side of my, uh, <laughs> my, uh, my table here. And then of course the selection and using the transform tool, um, of course with uniform selected and we can change the size and move that up and out of the way okay now let's go over to our palette and select uh, that middle green again and our stems we're dialing them all the way down and we're going to draw individual stems not connected to each other because we're going to be drawing tulips and they don't have connected stems there there are only monocot in this whole demonstration <laughs> all right and then bringing that up in size just a little bit um, about 30 percent um, we're going to select our red color and we're using the same brush. We're just going to use this drawing some ovals and um, to get started there with our tulips. And uh, let's make this one point off to the side like that. Awesome. Okay. And then we're just going to add like another little oval shape and, you know, another one coming off there. Now these are going to be in multiples of three uh, when it comes to tulips. And you just kind of, you know, create those I don't know, just, just kind of just play again, just going with the shape and how you'd like those petals to look and, uh, you know, making oval shapes or not, you know, just a little drawn off leaf there or petal. I'm sorry. I keep, I keep mixing up petals and leaves. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Once we have that, let's go over to our green and, um, actually let's go with that darker blue green and we're going to bring up our size of our stem brush and we're going to just kind of press and pull down. So we have these neat, uh, leaves. Now let's switch colors and the way this brush works with its multiply, it's fun to mix the colors with our, our leaves, our tulip leaves. And let's do that one more time. One more green color. Let's go, uh, this kind of 
between the two awesome Oop, i love that okay that's that's really fun okay that looks really great i i'm happy with that and i can just add into the bottom if i want whatever okay now let's see you know you know the drill here <laughs> selection transform and move out of the way yep perfect okay for our very last flower let me just do that okay we're going to be drawing a daisy uh, we have a gray color but we're going to use this yellow color for it and then we're going to go over to our stem brush and we're going to bring the size down a little bit and we're going to go ahead and draw an oval center here and uh, once we get that where we like it uh, we're going to start drawing or bring the size up a little bit but start drawing from the center and down uh, to create our petals our daisy petals and this is really cute oh my goodness all right, and then we're gonna go over to our brushes and let's bring that size down just a little bit for our stems and select a nice little green color here. And we'll go with the lightest color and just draw a little simple stem. Now, these leaves are kind of different. They're kind of jaggy and they kind of come out from, like pieces of the jaggies come out from the jaggy leaf itself. It's kind of odd. <laughs> anyway, it's, uh, it's the other leaf type that we have for our die cuts. Okay, let's go over to the gold color and go to our uh, centers in lavender and bring that brush size down just a little bit. And we can create a nice center for our daisy. Oh, that's really cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, so this is how you draw digital flowers. Thanks so much for joining me in this tutorial. I hope your day is amazing.